Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so in this video, gonna show you how you would find out if a CPU is compatible with your motherboard, as well as what BIOS version is compatible. So we'll jump in to every one of the different manufacturers. Hopefully I'll put a timeline down below so you can jump to the uh, motherboard that supports yours. I'll throw in some AMD and Intel motherboards uh, to mix this up a little. But this, uh, this video might take a little while to make, but uh, hopefully your answer will be in here. All right, let's start with, uh, this is an AMD one, and I recently put a 5800X in this thing, and lo and behold, it uh, wasn't you know necessarily compatible right off the bat. It needed a BIOS update, but uh, so, where did I go, you know, figure all that out? Uh, I sat there going, what is wrong with this thing? I thought it was compatible. Um, you basically are gonna go, you know, put in your motherboard, right? So this was the Gigabyte B550M DS3H. Click on that link there. And when you come in here, a couple different places you see support. We want this one. And then over here, folks, CPU support. Now some of these manufacturers not going to either be this easy um, and we may get limited information. I will tell you that Gigabyte does a good job and, and you know sometimes you honestly pay for what you get when you uh, buy the wrong motherboard. All right, so what do we get here? This lists all of the CPUs that are compatible, right? So from 3500, 3600, or that's 3500X, 3600, 4350G, 4100, a huge mixture, right? To include the ones that have integrated graphics, the 4600G, and then 5000 series, all the 5000 series is in here. 5600G, I have the 5300G, which I've been tempted to pull out of one of my computers and, and put in here, but the 5800X went out, and there it is. Okay, so you got that information. What do you got over here? This is the BIOS version that, at what BIOS version it started to support those CPUs, okay? So when this thing first came out, uh, I think people, you know, might've been throwing 3600Xs at it, 3900X. And so that was good right off the bat with uh, F1. They eventually had the 3900XT come out and the 3600XT you see that BIOS version. So if you have an, a really original version of this that might have an F1 BIOS, you might need to do a uh, BIOS update to get it to work properly. So then eventually, you know, uh, what was it? The 4000 series stuff came out, right? A lot of this stuff compatible, F2, F2, uh, the recent stuff, 4100, F14, okay? Then we get to 5000, you got 5900X, 5950, F10, and then some of these guys here, F14. So that's uh, how you find out, folks, at least for AMD and a gigabyte, whether your CPU is compatible. Let's move on. Um, I'll do an Intel version of that. So I have the B660. Uh, actually, I don't have this one, do I? Let's not always do the latest stuff. And just to be safe, we'll type in Gigabyte. So this there's an AC version. I had this one. Most of you, though, probably will have bought this one that is... Uh, not the full ATX. Ah, oh, look at that. Their website's down for that one. All right, let's do this one then, folks. This is the, the one that I did have. So full-size motherboard, all kinds of expansion slots on this thing. Great motherboard. I'm going to go over here to support, just like we did with the AMD version. Click on CPU support. And then... This was Intel 10th and 11th gen, okay? So you see all of that good stuff. And then what BIOS version, at what point of BIOS version supported it. So 
This motherboard, unlike some of the other ones we're gonna see, right off the bat, all of these CPUs were good to go, okay? And this covers every Intel CPU to include the ones that you can overclock. They are all supported by this motherboard. You see the ones with K in it, uh, 10th, 11th. All right, let's back up a second. Let's go to uh, the 460, folks. And I'm throwing this one in here kind of as a curveball. Now, originally Intel had promised that this motherboard would support 10th and 11th gen, and then they decided it would only support 10th gen. So you'll see here only 10th gen CPUs listed. And the only one that's going to be different here should be, well, that's not true. There were some additional i3s that came out. Uh, there should be the i9-10850K. Well, this says they were all supported after F3 BIOS version, which I find hard to believe. But this motherboard must have come out later on in comparison. But there you go. Okay, so there's an example for a gigabyte. Let's move on to ASRock. Now, ASRock's not going to be as user-friendly. Um... Let me think of a motherboard that I have from them. A ton of them, right? We have a Z590. Let's grab that one. So, their website's set up differently. You don't want this support up here, okay? I almost fell for it. You want this one. CPU support list. And this is also, folks, just so you know, the spot where you're going to go find your BIOS update, but check out my videos on those. All right. So this is a Z590. This should support every 10th and 11th gen CPU that was made. Maybe not the engineering samples, uh, which I don't know that much about, but um, so this is validated BIOS, all of them, and then this is a newer BIOS here for these guys, okay? So you can see that they're all supported. Now if we went back to the, uh, we do a Z490 on this one, oops. Let's go look at Z490. Website set up basically the same. And you can see, folks, with this one, they actually don't support any 11 gen chips, which is uh, hard to believe. You see the, the latest chips and what their BIOS is, but not a single 11 gen in here which is highly surprising. So we go over to the BIOS thing. It says, mentions nothing about it. So if you bought this motherboard, you made a mistake because these guys really um, pretty much shafted you on that aspect. Let me close some of these windows. You know, I got all kinds of memory in this computer. Let's look at an ASRock Phantom Gaming 4. B550, all right? See how well they've supported this. Now you see, it says they've supported everything, all right? So where you didn't get much support with the Intel um, Z490, the AMD B550 looks like it has all kinds of support. And here we go again. So we see all our different CPUs, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, and what the BIOS version is that updated to make it work, okay? So quite a bit. This, If you bought this motherboard, it, um, at least from that aspect of flexibility, it's pretty good, right? Because you were able to get all that stuff. Plus this guy has PCIe 4.0, so all around uh, good motherboard, not the best quality though. Uh, ASRock, you know, not really impressed with them. Let's move on. 
MSI. Uh, what do we got? MSI Pro Z690. We've got one of those. Support right here. Now, these guys, folks, are a little different. You got this compatibility thing here. And we can see, folks, so far with uh, 12th Gen, every one of these CPUs is updated. And the thing is here, this is basically your vision here, the A3 part, right? So A0 was the base. And I believe the only one that's going, that needs the BIOS update is this uh, i9-12900KS, okay? But once again, just like the other spots, this is where you go to verify that your CPU is um, compatible and what the BIOS version is. All right, so that was MSI. Let's do, um, who's that leave us with? ASUS, right? ASUS, what's a uh, Prime Z? I'm gonna do another Z690. Let's do a B660. D4, why not? All right, I accept, yeah. All right, so you want, this? their site's a little different. Um, interesting folks, maybe, there it is. There's the support I need. All right, CPU support right here. And you can see validated since bias all, all, all. So if we find once again that, that i9-12900KS, if it's listed, no, it's not even listed. So in this case, folks, the 12900KS is not compatible with this cheap uh, ASUS motherboard here. Now, I'm not gonna do Biostar because I'll never buy a Biostar product again. But uh, yeah, that's that's mainly your, your main competitors and uh, you know how you're gonna find where and at what BIOS version your CPU uh, may or may not be compatible with the motherboard. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe, thank you.